يا بني آدم خذوا زينتكم عند كل مسجد Take your beauty seriously Take your clothing seriously Beautify yourselves Dress up Come decked out At every time of prayer And every place of prayer Beautify yourselves when you talk to me Dress nicely when you pray Don't wake up for fajr in your pajamas And make fajr in your pajamas Dress nicely before Allah. If you have a meeting with the, with the CEO of a company, you dress up. If you have a meeting with the Dean of Academics, you dress up. If you have an interview at immigration, you dress up. You have an interview with Allah, you don't dress up. Dress nicely, beautify yourselves. You know why this is important? Because when you engage in the act of ironing your clothes, because you're making salat, when you engage in the act of picking the right kind of colors, and dressing nicely, putting yourself together. When do people dress nicely? When they go to a party, right? Why? Because other people are gonna look at them. Because they're gonna be in pictures. Isn't that true? If nobody was gonna look at you, why would you dress nicely? Other people are going to look at you, so you dress nicely. You're going out like your, da your dad says, you're going out like that? You know, I have a student from last year, his dad made him iron his t-shirts. <laughs> so I'm wearing a shirt over it, that doesn't matter, iron your t-shirt. <laughs> you're not going out like that, right? It's not my dad, I promise. Okay, so, but, but the idea, when you dress up, you're conscious of the one who's going to be looking at you. If you dress up before you make salat, it will automatically make you conscious that That what? What am I trying to say? That Allah is looking at you It will give you khushu' in salah <laughs> ستبقى سميات نبراس لطف تنير سويدا دنيا العهن وتبقى